What's going on guys, it's Brian Simmons Comics and in this video I'm giving you guys my picks for comic books are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night. Once again, the DC comics I talk about in this video do hit final order cutoff the day before, so make sure you get your orders in for any of these books with your LCS or online. And like I always say, pre-ordering those books, get yourself a pretty good discount. But getting right into it right now got some great books this week there's a bunch of additional printings so make sure you stay to the end when i go through those but starting us off this week from image comics we get two moons number four that's right you've been talking about this series if you haven't been reading it please please pick it up give it a read this has been one fantastic series a lot of people are talking about this right now i don't know if it's getting the attention that i think it deserves but that's just my personal opinion. Either way, if you like Civil War, if you like horror comics, you, that's what Image does well. And we got a great one with Two Moons. And issue number four is heading final or cutoff this Monday night. Also from Image Comics, we get Spawn number 318. Haven't talked about Spawn in a little bit on this video. Still a great series. Still phenomenal. Everyone's been reading it. But there's also big news that we get in that Spawn universe coming up. This issue, Spawn 318, this storyline that's in here is going to carry over into that Spawn Universe number one one-shot, as well as other Spawn Universe titles. So this is one that's on my radar. Definitely going to pre-order this one because it's going to carry you right over into all those new titles that are getting that attention within that Spawn Universe. Moving over to IDW for a second, we talk about how I'm a big fan of that Star Wars Adventures High Republic and the other Star Wars Adventures comics that they've had on there before with the Clone Wars, the regular Star Wars Adventures. Well, here we're getting a new series from IDW with that Star Wars Adventures, A Weapon of the Jedi number one. Here we have where they just destroyed the Death Star. Now Luke is seeking help from the Rebellion as an X-Wing fighter. IDW likes to solicit this as an all-ages book, which it is an all-ages book, but don't disregard that as a bad label talked about on this channel plenty of times all ages does not mean don't pay attention to we've talked about that with canto talked about that with the star wars series this is another one if you're a star wars fan you like more of that story this is one that's definitely worth picking up getting over to marvel this is the big title we're coming to the end of ta coates's run on black panther with black panther number 25 this is a monumental issue plus there's some fantastic covers a lot of people love those patrick gleason covers for spider-man here we're getting Patrick Gleason cover for Black Panther as well. So if you like those covers, definitely want to pick this up. But there's also a fantastic Peach Momoko Stormbreakers cover. All those Peach fans are going to want to add that to the collection. And if that's not your doesn't strike your fancy, there's a bunch of other great covers on here. So here we are, end of a four-year run for Coates. This is going to be one big issue. And it's going to bring everything full circle where T'Challa returns to the home that he had left behind. Also for Marvel, we get Miles Morales number 26. This is a continuation, that new spider clone saga that kicked off in issue number 25. Miles Morales, I've said it before, is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man series to read right now, other than some of those Chip Zdarsky stories. But Miles Morales is also seems to be the new generation Spider-Man. A lot of people love Miles. We got into the Spider-Verse. We got the PlayStation game, the new PlayStation game. We know there's another Spider-Verse movie coming. So either way, if you're a fan of Clone Saga and you liked issue number 25, you're definitely going to want to pick up issue 26 and there is a 1 in 25 incentive variant for this so that's something to be aware of as well another one from marvel we're getting reptile number one there's going to be a four issue mini series and the solicits reads it as this is reptile on the brink of extinction coming out of the wake of kamala's law and his grandfather's deteriorating health umberto lopez thinks about taking a step back from being a superhero but then through events within this series he second guesses that choice if you're a wrestling fan there's been rumor that this reptile character or umberto lopez is going to get that big push coming into marvel comics and possibly the mcu i do not know how much truth is to that i've read it in one or two articles online but either way if you've been a fan of that the, the outlawed series if you're a fan of champions if, if you're a fan of miss marvel this is one that might be worth picking up and if there's any truth to those rumors of umberto lopez or reptile Getting that big push from Marvel or showing up in the MCU, you can actually get the first appearance of this character very, very cheap right now in that old 2009 series of Avengers The Initiative featuring Reptile number one. So that may be worth looking for if this is something that interests you. 
and getting over DC Comics. There's a lot of great DC titles right now, but I have one in particular I like for Final Word Cutoff, and that is Robin issue number two. Talked about how I'm a big fan of Joshua Williamson, loved his Flash run, love a bunch of his other series such as Nailbiter, again, another great horror comic from Image Comics. But here we're getting issue number two of that great Damian Wayne series. We got Joshua Williamson writing, Gleb Melnikoff on art, and if you're a fan of Francis Manipole, there's a great cover B that you might want to pick up for this. And let me know in the comments, is this a series you guys are interested in? I kind of like some Damian Wayne, not my favorite Robin, but he's definitely up there. And I'm interested to know what you guys think. And that's going to bring us into the indie showcase portion of this video. That's right. This portion is brought to you from Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Huge fans of indie, indie comics, just like myself. But you can also pre-order any of the books that are talked about in this video from Black Cape Comics. And kudos to Black Cape Comics. They have actually been growing recently, so much so that they have to move into a bigger space. So congratulations to Ben and the rest of that small crew they have at Black Cape Comics. But the first one we're talking about in the Indie Showcase this week is Something is Killing the Children number 16. Don't have to talk about this one too much because every time an issue comes out, it has been so popular. I remember we first talked about this in this video, it was a bad thing to do because it was ruining the comic hobby and the title would never take off because there was so much attention given to it prior to Final Order Cutoff. Doesn't seem so the case, does it? But issue number 16 is a big issue and you want to know why we are getting the origin of Erica Slaughter. That's right. Another banger series, 16 issues in, still has that demand, and for good reason. James Tynan's been killing it since issue one. James Tynan has been killing every series he's writing right now. You, you can even look at Department of Truth, which issue number nine for Department of Truth is also hitting Final Road Cutoff this Monday night, but I did not put it in this video because, like we say, that's a plug and play, just like something that's killing the children, but wanted to bring it to your attention. We do get the origin in issue number 16. Next one I'm talking about is from Vault Comics. Here we're getting Vault kicking down the door, making their entrance into those superhero comics. I love Vault Comics. They've done a lot of great indie titles, but one thing I haven't seen them really, really get their feet in yet is those superhero type titles. And that changes with Blue Flame number one. Here we get a vigilante superhero fighting crime on the streets of Milwaukee. That's right, we're not getting a Metropolis or a Gotham. Here we get something people can relate to with Milwaukee. And it's not a rich guy. We don't get like Bruce Wayne. We get a blue collar HVAC repairman. All that right there just makes me super interested. We get Vault Comics. We get a vigilante. We get a blue collar guy. We're getting someone fighting crime. Another great thing about this that I haven't seen much from Vault, we're getting some high ratio incentive variants. There's a one in 25. There's a one in 50. And Friends of the channel, The 616 Comics, also has a great incentive variant up there for that, so make sure you check them out at the616comics.com. But I am super excited to pick this one up. Getting over to another smaller indie publisher that is making some waves right now. From Behemoth Comics, we get MFKZ number one, which stands for something that I cannot really say in this video without getting bleeped. But either way, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. Behemoth Comics is putting out some banger titles right now. They just had You Promise Me Darkness. Here we're getting MFKZ number one. This is already an animated movie on Netflix. There's been some great covers for this. I'm a big Garbage Pail Kid fan. They have a series of variants coming out for this comic book series that are Garbage Pail Kid homage covers. So those are the ones I'm interested in picking up. But there are so many great covers for this, and the story looks to be great. Behemoth Comics is a publisher to pay attention to right now. And stores are taking notice because there's a lot of store incentive variants. So pick it up for the story, pick up the cover you like, but definitely get your order in. Because Behemoth Comics, although it's small, a lot of stores aren't carrying them yet. And another tip for you, make sure you check out Behemoth Comics' website. They sell books on there. And another great thing is they ship their comics well. A lot of times you order books from the publisher website. They come with no protection. Behemoth is not that way. And that's gonna wrap up the indie showcase portion. But like I said at the beginning of this video, there are a bunch of additional printings coming this week. And we're gonna get into those right now from Image Comics and from Skybound. Ultra Mega have talked about that series on this video a lot. Ultra Mega number one is getting a third print. That's right, going back to a third print. And issue number two is getting a second print. And like I've said before in this video, when it comes to those additional printings, 
make sure you pick up those incentive one in five variants. The additional printings are already a lower print run, but those incentives have an even lower print run. I've heard rumors of up to only 500 copies for those. I do not know how true that is, but it's something to pay attention to. Also from Image Comics, one of my favorite series right now is Stray Dogs. Stray Dogs number three is getting that second print. And Undiscovered Country number seven is also getting a second print. From Marvel, we get that Demon Days X-Men issue number one hitting a third print. Another great Peach Momoko cover on that one. As well as Spider-Man Spider Shadow number one. Talked about Chip Zdarsky Spider-Man. Here we are getting that issue number one with a second print. And from Boom Studios, we get the many deaths of Layla Star. That's right, Ram V doing some great writing on this one. From Heavy Metal Comics, we get the Rise number one hitting a second print. And from DC Comics, Nightwing number 79. That great Tom Taylor written series right now. I'm telling you, if you are not on that Tom Taylor train, it's a good time to get on. Tom Taylor's been doing some of the best writing in comics. Of course, that's my opinion, but I'm sticking by it. Other people seem to think so because the books are getting into its printings, including Nightwing number 79 with that second print. And this is a book that I talked about last week. The FOC actually got pushed to this coming week. And again, that Behemoth Comics, we are talking about You Promised Me Darkness number one. That second print got moved from last week's FOC to this week's FOC. So if you missed out, there's still time to get your order in. And there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comic books that are in final cutoff. This coming Monday night, May the 3rd. So get your orders in. Get them in online. Contact your LCS. And if you're at your LCS and you're pre-ordering, make sure you ask about that discount because sometimes they might not bring that up. But a lot of comic book stores, when you pre-order, they will give you a little bit of a discount. Same with a lot of online sites. BlackCapeComics.com, like I said, they offer a pre-order discount. So make sure you check those out. And with that being said, guys, this is Brown Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video. She pull up, pop out, then she swerve. Do your two step, your little cat won't make it work. Make it work, do your dance, make it work, strike a pose. Make it work, do your dance, make it work, strike a pose. I pull up.